Hello and welcome. You're on Friday Double Bill, India's first full-length film review show. Well, so far as this episode is concerned, we're running one week late for two reasons. The first reason, of course, is last weekend, the big release was Linga, which is by Rajni Kant. And how can we not discuss Rajni Kant? Linga, directed by K.S. Ravi Kumar, is a Tamil film starring Rajni Kant, who is a genre by himself. So far as the story is concerned, this film is essentially broken into two parts. In the first part, Rajni Kant plays a top jewel thief. The second part, which is far longer, is a period film where Rajni Kant plays his own grandfather, who was the king, civil servant, and good Samaritan, who gave up everything he had to build a dam in his poverty-stricken town. The film also stars Anushka Shetty and Sunakshi Sinha opposite the two Rajnikants. You know, Mayank, so much has been said and written about the cult of Rajnikant, but I have to make a very, very honest confession right here on Friday Double Bill. I am a Rajnikant virgin. Okay. <laughs> to date, I have never seen a full-length Rajnikant film in my life. I've seen snippings of, you know, on TV. Not even the Hindi ones, like Hum and stuff? Well, yes, yeah. yes, hmm. that, but as I said, this, right. this, 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 the Rajini Khan films and in particularly Tamil. from, right. you know, where he, he hails from and where he is hailed hmm. as nothing short of a demigod. Right. Uh, it has been incredible journey, those three hours, three hours in the cinema hall, watching him strut his stuff. I realize there is no such thing as Rajni Kant because Rajni can do everything. everything. Rajni can and he does whether he's his own grandfather or whether he's Linga, the, 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 uh, the thief, who of course the entire plot of his stealing uh, has been lifted from the old Cary Grant uh, classic, How to Steal a Million, so here's How to Steal a Plot. But those are right. mere Doesn't piffling matter. you know, <laughs> niceties when we're talking about he himself. It's been extraordinary between those two women who are obviously uh, smitten by the, 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 the man himself, the fact that entire villages are uh, besotted by him. He is the Maharaja of Mysore and of various other things. He's a collector, as you pointed out. He's a benefactor. It's incredible. I've just completely gobsmacked. <laughs> you know, I can't claim to be a virgin so far as Rajni Kant <laughs> is concerned, but I have to let you know because a slight education is due in that case so far as you're concerned, Fahad, is that this is, I think, very different from some of the Rajni Kant films I've seen. Uh, the last one that I saw, which was obviously not his last film, the la his last film was Robot, which was, you know, which was a very different kind of movie, obviously. It was sci-fi. Uh, Kochadayan was, of course, uh, an animation film. But Shivaji, which was directed by the same person, K.S. Ravi Kumar, was a very different kind of film in the sense of it being far more about the street, about him being the, you know, the masses guy, but very contemporary, full of one-liners, full of things that he does, full of uh, idiosyncrasies, which is about 10 to 15 percent of this movie. Right. I think there has been a certain gentrification of Rajnikanth over the years, as it's become more and more mainstream, as we started writing more and more about him in the mainstream press, especially North Indian press, even international press. And I think I see some of that happening from Robot, to Kochadayan and this one too, because here actually the plot makes sense, which is not something I'm used to <laughs> in a Rajnikant movie. Well, given the kind of nonsense that we've been exposed to all this year and, you know, culminating in Action Jackson just uh, the week before last, which we were unanimous in our uh, approval of the fact that this is the worst film we've ever had the misfortune of seeing. Uh, yes, it did make a lot of sense, except at three hours it was, uh, it was extremely tedious to sit through, but still it, it was uh, fascinating. But I think this is clearly a mark of a man who is now in his 60s and 64, probably yes. 64, bless his soul, and is now obviously, you know, there is talk of India and being Indian, Indian da, and all of that. So it's clearly headed into a direction where politics may be the next stop. Well, no, I think he's made that very clear throughout his career that that's not what he wants to do because I think if you can, you know, wield that kind of power among people with absolutely no responsibility, and that's Rajni Kant, of course, you don't need to join politics at all. But I think one simple point that needs to be made, the fact that you mentioned Action Jackson, it is the same genre as this film, except that while you see Ajay Devgan in every frame of Action Jackson and you also see Rajni Kant in every frame of this film, he is God, it's not the same thing because you like watching Rajni Kant. 
That's true. I mean, it was impossible not to, uh, you know, be fascinated by this man, particularly given the sort of cult that surrounds him of, 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 of worship. And uh, he, he certainly is uh, everything that he's cut out to be and then some more. Well, this is a Rajni Sar's picture or a Thalaiwar picture. Uh, clearly, you go in for highlights. Of course, it's slightly more subdued, as I told you, Fahad, in terms of the number of one-liners. My favorite one-liner is, I haven't failed, only postponed my success. I think that's an oh my god moment uh, from my end right away. The second oh my god moment would have to be uh, the shot where Rajni Sar dives, you know, from a cliff and is going all the way down with absolutely no support whatsoever. Then he falls onto a huge balloon and he goes on right, you know, he actually moves in right angles to the balloon. I think that's a fabulous uh, shot. Uh, even James Bond can't beat him. Yeah, well, it's, you know, Mission Impossible meets all the James Bond series, meets Jason Bourne, meets Cary Grant. It meets a lot of people yeah. and it just becomes wholly Rajnikanth. and Rajnikanth. So it is uh, phenomenal. For me, of course, the fantastic thing about watching this with English subtitles is the subtitling uh, person has done something <laughs> completely uh, marvelous and you've got words like bro and dude and you know stuff like that going on so it's a completely different idiom that you're uh, watching this film in but uh, the music by A.R. Rahman and the oh, oh my god moments for me mm. are the lyrics of this of these songs because it actually has something to the effect of First, there's a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of uh, thing, which cuts to... Yeah, that's a full-length song, yes. Yeah. And that, no, then that cuts to, a, a, you know, a Western salon, and then it cuts to something else, and, you know, it's all right. just one marvelous kitsch, uh, kitsch pitch. But uh, it says, Mona, Mona, you are my gasolina, yeah. and let's jump on the trampolina. I love that I song, mean, by that the way. that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. You cannot postpone success, and nor can you deal with failure. But talking of translations in the film, I think my favorite was Yov. You know, I'm going to say that more often uh, from this movie. This is a Rajnikanth film. We keep saying that every few minutes, only to reiterate the point that if you liked it, we are, we are actually in another zone, in another sphere, in another cinematic space. And for people who've watched it for the first time, in your case, uh, Fahad, I think, uh, you know, you're basically getting into this new zone. The ones who've been fans for a while, I think they'll be slightly disappointed because this is not so hardcore Rajni movie in that sense. And that actually suited me uh, pretty fine. Uh, so far as reviews, and ratings are concerned. I think Rajnikanth should be rating the reviewers rather than us rating him. It's a TV Padeko from my end, but that's just, you know, just saying so. Uh, it's not a record at all. Breaking news. Rajnikanth was shot. Further breaking news. The Bullet's funeral is tomorrow. This is what somebody told me after I walked out of <laughs> watching this film. And I have to agree. There is nothing that Rajnikanth do the trick is to just go watch it, submit to the experience, and if you're a fan, of course you're going to watch it, but if you're, you know, a novice, styro, virgin like me, this is a pretty good way to get deflowered and the cult of Rajnikanth. Well, that's it for Friday Double Bill. Tell us what you thought of the movies, tell us what you think of the show. <laughs> <laughs>